the astral traveler. Are you ready for an unearthly adventure? Join me on Midnight Murmurs as we examine the remarkable trip of the astral traveler. Experience the power of bravery, perseverance, and the true meaning of heroism as we follow the protagonist's mission to preserve a far-off world. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more thrilling tales like this one. Chapter 1. The Discovery At the beginning, the astral traveler is simply an average man, going about his existence with no inkling of the remarkable experiences that await him. It is only after he falls asleep one night that he finds his remarkable power to abandon his body and roam around the cosmos. At first, he is horrified by this new ability, unclear of what it means or how to handle it. He feels as though he is floating in an unending emptiness, with no sensation of up or down, and no means to find his way back to his actual body. But gradually, as he grows more accustomed with the experience, he begins to investigate the potential of astral projection. He journeys further and deeper into the galaxy, amazed at the sights and noises that he discovers. Nevertheless, with each successive excursion, he grows more and more conscious of the potential perils that come with his newfound skill. He believes that he may never be able to return to his body, that he may get lost in the immensity of space forever. As he grapples with these anxieties and uncertainties, he comes to grasp the actual nature of his gift. He learns to manage his astral projections, to navigate himself through the universe with purpose and intention. And so, he starts on a voyage of self-discovery, one that will lead him to the distant reaches of the cosmos and beyond. A quest that will test his courage, his strength, and his resolve to survive. As he travels farther and deeper into the universe, the astral traveler starts to comprehend that his ability is both a blessing and a punishment. It is a talent that allows him to investigate the wonders of the cosmos, but it is also a burden that he must endure alone. And yet, he is not entirely alone. Because amid the great nothingness of space, he experiences a sense of calm and tranquility that he has never felt before. A feeling of closeness to the cosmos, to all living things, that fills him with a sense of wonder and amazement. With this newfound insight, the astral traveler sets off on a quest of discovery, one that will transform his life forever. A voyage that will bring him to a world unlike any he has ever known, and to a destiny that he never could have imagined. Chapter 2 The Exploration the astral traveler had discovered a new world, a new way of being, and he was filled with a sense of wonder and excitement. As he lay down to sleep each night, he eagerly anticipated the adventures that awaited him in the realm of astral projection. In his first few attempts, he found himself floating aimlessly in a dark void, unsure of what to do or where to go. But as he began to relax and let go of his fears, he found that he could control his movements and explore the world around him. He sailed across mountains and oceans, through woods and deserts, marveling at the beauty of the earth and the boundless possibilities of astral flight. He encountered other entities in this dimension, some kind and interested, others dark and threatening. Yet he learned to handle these encounters with ease, using his astral talents to protect himself and converse with these otherworldly beings. As he explored more and more, he began to discover new worlds and dimensions, each more breathtaking than the last. 
he visited locations that he could never have imagined in his wildest fantasies, and each journey inspired him with a sense of amazement and wonder. The astral traveler's journeys also began to have a profound effect on his waking life. He felt more grounded, more centered, and more connected to the world around him. He found himself more open to new experiences and more eager to take chances. Through his explorations, the astral traveler learned to let go of his fears and embrace the unknown. He learned that there was a vast universe of possibilities waiting for him, both in the arena of astral projection and in his waking existence. And with each new trip, he felt a deep feeling of calm and serenity, knowing that he had tapped into a wellspring of inner power and creativity. Chapter 3 The Encounter The meeting with the extraterrestrial race was unlike anything the astral traveler had ever encountered before. As he floated across the expanse of space, he observed a little planet in the distance. When he approached closer, he realized that it was not like any other planet he had seen before. The earth was scarred and destroyed by conflict and pollution, and the sky were clogged with heavy clouds of smoke and ash. As he dropped towards the surface, he could see that the planet was populated by a weird and amazing species of beings. The aliens were unlike any other species he had ever seen. Their skin was a deep shade of blue, and their eyes sparkled with an unearthly brilliance. They were little and weak, and yet there was a fiery resolve in their features that spoke of enormous courage and power. While he interacted with the aliens, the astral traveler heard of their suffering. Their world had once been a lovely and fertile paradise, but years of conflict and neglect had taken their toll. The resources of the earth were depleting, and its people were on the edge of annihilation. The astral traveler felt a great feeling of sympathy and obligation for these beings. He knew that he had the potential to help them, and he was determined to do all in his power to do so. As he soared back into the universe, he felt that he had found his ultimate destiny. He would utilize his astral skills to search for a strong crystal that could cure the planet and return it to its former splendor. He understood that the voyage would be long and risky, but he was ready for the task. With a sense of purpose and determination in his heart, the astral traveler set out on his quest to save the alien race and their dying world. Chapter 4 The Quest The astral traveler went forward, his pulse racing with eagerness as he launched on his adventure. He knew that the road ahead would be long and risky, but he was determined to continue on, utilizing all of his astral talents to face the hurdles that lay in his way. As he went across the cosmos, he experienced a series of hurdles that challenged his fortitude and tenacity. Yet with each new trial, the astral traveler became stronger and more confident, his spirit unshakable in the face of peril. At last, he arrived at the strange world and glanced upon its ruined scenery with a sorrowful heart. The once beautiful earth was now damaged by conflict and pollution, and its inhabitants were on the verge of extinction. Undaunted, the astral traveler went on, propelled by his mission to serve others in need. He quickly learned that the crystal he sought was guarded by a fearsome dragon, a monster of tremendous power and cunning. With his astral skills at the ready, the astral traveler engaged the dragon in battle, the two opponents engaging in a ferocious fight for domination. But despite the dragon's enormous might, the astral traveler refused to back down, 
calling on his inner stores of courage and determination to continue onward. And then, in a moment of absolute brilliance, the astral traveler hit the dragon with a bolt of pure energy, slaying the beast and seizing the crystal for himself. The world around him rocked with the intensity of his triumph, and he knew in his heart that he had done something truly wonderful. As he made his way back to his home realm, the astral traveler felt a sense of serenity and contentment flood over him. He realized that he had achieved something genuinely exceptional, and that his voyage had transformed him in ways that he could not understand. For in that moment, he had found the genuine strength of the human spirit a power that could move mountains, vanquish fears, and transform the world for the better. And with that understanding, he decided to never give up on his ambitions, no matter how unattainable they may appear. Chapter 5 The Challenges the obstacles that confronted the protagonist were not to be handled lightly. He knew that his voyage would be laden with peril, and that he would need to employ all of his astral powers and inner strength to conquer the difficulties that lied ahead. As he went across the cosmos, he met terrible cosmic storms that threatened to break him apart. He faced the weather, invoking his astral skills to defend himself and lead him through the turmoil. That was not an easy accomplishment, but he pushed through, determined to attain his target. The next issue he confronted was a dangerous asteroid field. The rocks rushed at him with great speed, and he had to duck and weave his way through them, his astral talents aiding him to negotiate the difficult terrain. But just when he believed he had gotten it through, a gigantic asteroid loomed ahead, threatening to smash him. The protagonist mustered all of his inner might, focusing his mind and body to drive the asteroid away. It required every ounce of his effort, but he succeeded, and the asteroid sailed past him harmlessly. When he ventured deeper, he found a black hole, a spinning vortex of darkness that promised to pull him in and never let him go. He knew that he could not allow himself to be consumed by its strength, and he utilized his astral talents to form a barrier around himself, shielding him from its lethal draw. With each struggle he faced, the protagonist became stronger and more determined. He understood that he had a task to achieve, and he would not allow anything stand in his way. And so he pressed on, ready to confront whatever was ahead with courage and endurance. Chapter 6 The Battle The struggle continued on, and the dragon was terrible. Its breath was like fire, and its claws were sharp as knives. Yet the astral traveler was not scared. He had trained long and hard for this moment, and he knew that he could fight the dragon and take the crystal. The two opponents circled each other, each waiting for the other to make a move. The dragon let forth a loud roar and the astral traveler felt the ground tremble underneath him. Yet he stayed steadfast, his mind concentrated on the work at hand. The dragon surged forward, its jaws gaping wide. The astral traveler fled to the side, just missing the creature's lethal bite. He shot back with a burst of energy, but the dragon shook it off as if it were nothing. The struggle lasted in this fashion for what seemed like hours. The astral traveler was weary, and the dragon showed no indications of slowing down. But suddenly, something altered. The astral traveler felt a burst of energy running through his body, and he realized that he had tapped into a deeper force. With a renewed sense of might, 
the astral traveler unleashed a volley of assaults on the dragon. He was quicker, more agile, and more strong than ever before. The dragon battled back with all its might, but it was no match for the astral traveler's newfound talents. Ultimately, with one powerful strike, the astral traveler vanquished the dragon. The beast let forth a last roar before slumping to the ground, defeated. The astral traveler came forward and took the crystal, feeling a sensation of success and relief sweep over him. He realized that he had done what he had set out to do, and that the alien race would finally have the chance to restore their earth and reconstruct their life. When the astral traveler made his way back to the alien metropolis, he was greeted with cheers and praise. The inhabitants of the other world greeted him as a hero, and he realized that his voyage had been worth it. The chapter finishes with the astral traveler staring up into the night sky, experiencing a sense of serenity and satisfaction. He knew that he had made a difference in the world, and that he would never forget the things he had learnt on his journey. Chapter 7 The Lessons The astral traveler had always considered of himself as an average guy, comfortable with the basic joys of life. Yet his remarkable adventure across the galaxy had taught him that there was more to existence than what he had previously imagined. As he sailed across space and time, discovering new places and situations, he learned essential lessons about courage, tenacity, and the strength of the human spirit. He learned that bravery was not the absence of fear, but the resolve to face it head-on and overcome it. He faced numerous hurdles along the journey, from hazardous terrain to terrifying monsters, but he never gave up. He always found a way to push past his fear and find the fortitude to continue forward. Persistence was another key lesson that the astral traveler acquired. He met numerous hurdles and disappointments on his quest, but he never let them distract him from his ultimate aim. He continued pressing forward even when the odds were stacked against him. And ultimately, he discovered that the power of the human spirit was boundless. He experienced personally the wonderful things that individuals could do when they tapped into their inner power and ability. He realized that by believing in oneself and being loyal to one's principles, everything was possible. When the astral traveler focuses on these lessons, he feels a sensation of serenity and tranquility rush over him. He realizes that he has been irrevocably altered by his experiences, and he is glad for the insight that he has learned. He recognizes that these teachings are not just for him, but for all of mankind. He believes that by sharing his journey and the lessons he has learned, he might encourage others to develop their own inner strength and realize their aspirations. The lessons chapter finishes with the astral traveler experiencing a sense of serenity and satisfaction, knowing that he has the capacity to alter the world and make a difference in the lives of others. Chapter 8 The Return the astral traveler returned to his home realm with a sense of calm and tranquility that he had never experienced before. He had seen the grandeur and majesty of the cosmos, the wonders of far-off regions and alien cultures, and the ability of the human spirit to transcend even the greatest of difficulties. As he strolled through his familiar surroundings, he viewed everything with fresh eyes. The trees swung in the lovely breeze, the birds sang their wonderful melodies, and the sky spread out before him like a canvas ready to be painted. The astral traveler realized that he had been irreversibly transformed by his encounters. 
he had learnt about courage and endurance, about the true meaning of heroism and the power of the human spirit to alter the world. And he was determined to utilize his newfound knowledge to help others follow their ambitions and pursue their interests. While he traveled, he encountered folks who were battling with their own issues and obstacles. Some had given up on their aspirations, feeling that they were impossible to attain. Others were just beginning off on their voyage, unaware of what lied ahead. The astral traveler recounted his narrative with them, informing them of his travels and the lessons he had learned along the way. He taught them that everything was possible if they were prepared to believe in themselves and work hard to attain their objectives. And thus, the astral traveler became a light of hope for all those who dared to dream large and pursue their ambitions. He lived a life of purpose and meaning, motivating others to do the same. When he stared up at the sky, he realized that his travels were far from ended. There were still fresh worlds to explore, new problems to face, and new lessons to be learned. But for now, he was satisfied to bask in the glory of his newfound knowledge and to share it with others in the hopes that they too might discover their own way to greatness. Thank you very much for viewing Midnight Murmurs and listening to this fantastic story. I hope you enjoyed this tale of the astral traveler and his wonderful trek around the cosmos. If you want more fascinating and captivating tales, be sure to subscribe to our channel and press that notification button so you never miss a new upload. We're continually giving you the greatest in storytelling and can't wait to share more with you. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the future video.